This is the heart of our story. Golu and Raji, brother and sister. And this was their whole world. This one small carnival. The other performers were their friends, their only family. This was home. On that day before their performance, Raji took her brother aside. "Did you forget little brother?" she asked him. And she tied a rakhi to his hand. for it was the feast of rakshabandhan although it was a feast day they still had coins to earn so raji walked on tight ropes and tumbled for the crowd while golu told his puppet tales of ancient times when demons walked the lands a long long time ago a demon did penance for showing such devotion brahma blessed him with immortality and a mighty weapon of all upon receiving he united the demons to wage a war bhumi devi urged him to stop he killed her ruthlessly without thought this angered shiva greatly and he stomped dividing the continents and the demons were forever lost but as he spoke the skies darkened and the earth shook and other figures dressed as demons strode through the crowd These were not masks. This was not a child's tale. As the demons turned to slaughter, Raji tried to reach her brother. He'd been hurt and he was scared, and she knew she must protect him. But in that moment Raji failed for the Garasura demons took Golu from her Raji awake my child
is this place? She is so young. A child. Remember Shiva's words. It is so much weight to put on the shoulders of a mortal. Is this one strong enough? Time will tell. Her brother and the other children had been seized by the Garasura. I told her that she must be strong. Her journey would be difficult and full of unknowns. I blessed her with the Trishul, my most powerful weapon that Shiva had given to me. This, with Raji's own serenity and strength, would save her brother. She walks boldly into a dark cave. She leaps chasms. She stands fearless before a goddess. There is fire in her. Yes, it must be tempered. But without that fire, she would have already given up. Many mortals would not be brave enough to climb. Our Raji has no fear of heights. Watch. She is learning to think, 
and to use the skills of her childhood. It is one thing to climb a pole and quite another to face a demon. To save her brother, Raji must face the demons. She held the Trishul and it was a gift of great power. It was blessed by Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and would help her stand against her terrible foes. But it was also a great responsibility. To wield it, she would need strength, courage and belief. Hear your pulse, the beating of a war drum. Feel your heart quicken. The strength flow through you. Fight, Raji. Be the warrior. Bring an end to him. Jai Ma! This door is weaker than the other, and the Trishu is a most versatile weapon.
see, my daughter? They are not as strong as you. But beware. Not all foes will be foolish enough. And you so please. Watch this! She's a circus performer, Araji. See what she can do. Amrit Bund, the golden nectar, the fruits of a demon kill. Its power will heal your wounds. The mandala shows each person their past. There is always a purpose to such visions.
just myself and Golu. Shrine to Kali. Your sister's shrines are fed by violence. Raji can make use of that if she is careful. Oh. <laughs> 
You must admit, she shows promise. She will need battle skills. That is so true. And they will be sorely tested. But that is not what I meant when I asked if she was strong. Look here, Durga. They have captured your own story. Ah, Mahishasura, the shape-shifter, the buffalo demon. Evil incarnate. Yet, without him, you would not have come to be. This is the moment when he was granted the boon by Brahma. No man could kill him. <laughs> ah, Mahishasura, the shape shifter, the buffalo demon, evil incarnate. Yet, without him, you would not have come to be. This is the moment when he was granted the boon by Brahma. No man. And here Mahishasura seized the heavens. Unkillable. Defeating and driving out all the Devas and even Indra himself. Here, Mahishasura seized the heavens, unkillable, defeating and driving out all the Devas and even Indra himself.
Your birth, Durga. The Devas knew it was their only chance to create a being capable of destroying their foe. All their power focused into one body, gifted with all their weapons. I wonder what you've... You forced him back. I remember it well. You on a lion's back, leading the battle line. The devas flocking behind you, inspired with new courage. Mahishasura at bay, forced to take his true form. The monstrous buffalo, stamping and blowing. Crushing warriors with his hooves and throwing them into the air with his great horns. The killing blow. Struck with the Trishul in your hand, there was no fear on your face. Although Mahishasura had shaken the heavens themselves, the battle light in your eyes, determination on your brow, I knew then what the Devas had made, and I knew then what change you would bring to our world. From evil comes great good. Such is the balance of the world. What has happened here? She can feel the foulness of this place. You are surprised? Mahabalasura's demons have warped one of the holy trees of Bhumi Devi. This is why Shiva imprisoned him, to stop such corruption. What is corruption? All things change.
tree showed Raji a vision of Golu, of dark clouds and a gathering storm, threatening destruction on the world. And behind it all, a being of great power and malice. The route is open to the fortress of Jaidar. She is indeed strong, Durga. She is. I hope she is strong enough to bear what she finds inside. <laughs> 